All right, so today we're doing some shark fishing, some inshore saltwater shark fishing. We've got two lines out. We also have a bunch of chum out the side of the boat. And we've been sitting here for a few minutes and we just hooked up on a fish. I don't think this is a shark, but it's still a fish. Jack is shark bait. Shark bait. <laughs> they grab them. Stop moving. Okay. Okay, so you can see that we're not trying to catch Jacks, but he just ate a big chunk of bonita that we had out, and I believe this is a a uh, eight dot mustad circle hook, and so it's big and nice and thick for sharks, but. Unfortunately, we didn't get the shark, but this is this guy is perfect shark bait. So I think we might keep him and use him for some uh, to get some sharks to the boat over here. Sweet. Today is Halloween, so I've got my little costume on. I don't really consider it a costume, but I'm kind of like a devil, I guess, for the meantime. But um, when you see this, it's not going to be Halloween anymore. But anyways. Um, but yeah, it's starting to clear up. Today is just another one of those rainy overcast days here in South Florida. But we're starting to see a little more sunshine and you can see blue sky now, so that's kind of good. And we've got our lines back drifting out. We've got the chum out and um, we're just waiting on that bite. We already got that Jack Cravel. So now we're just kind of hanging out, waiting for the action to start. Um, but we're having a great time out here. Um, stay tuned for the end because of course we're gonna show you and review all of the gear that we used in order to catch these fish today. And um, yeah, I think we're going to briefly tell you guys about where we met. Because um, we've got that question a lot lately and people are curious as to know like, you know, where we met each other. So Brian's gonna tell you. <laughs> I, I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't, <laughs> Too bad. I wasn't ready for that. I was over here being quiet because someone just commented today what camera I use and my head started spinning. <laughs> <laughs> Start, my head started spinning around in circles if you're a subscriber uh, guys if you have a question a lot of times it's in a prior video like what state are we in or this kind of stuff all right just go well very quickly I'm a boyfriend I'm 48 she's 27 criminal justice and uh, a 70d camera and we're in Florida okay uh, where we met we met at work I was working at a law firm in Boca and of course someone's gonna ask this in two days from now anyway but yep. uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Sorry, it's, I'm it's, having a pet peeve today. It's just the same thing with all YouTubers, you know, like Casey Neistat, like he wears those glasses all the time. He has dozens of videos about why he wears those glasses. Every single day somebody asks, where, why does he wear those glasses? Why does he wear them inside, outdoors? I mean, it happens. So new people are going <laughs> to do that, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta relax. I gotta relax. All right, so anyway, so I met at work, I was working at this law firm in, in Boca. I was there for a couple years, and this is about six years ago, and, and Darcy started working at the front desk at the building, and I thought she was the most gorgeous girl I've ever seen in my entire life, the little devil over here. <laughs> and so we got to talking, and I, I don't know, I think I asked her out to lunch, and we went to Applebee's, Yeah. and we had a couple beers, Yeah. and um, I don't know, and then a little bit after that, I finally I got her out on the boat, and we went to the sandbar, the beer can sandbar over here for our first official date. We had my first kiss, or our, not my first kiss, <laughs> our first kiss. I'm pretty old to be having a first kiss. And uh, and that was it, you know, that's a sandbar beer can right here. You guys see in a bunch of videos where we hang out all the time. And then, uh, I don't know, she moved in five years ago in March. So it's, you know, four, over, you know, four and a half years or so right now. And uh, I don't know, that's really it. So pretty cool quit our jobs in order to follow our dream job and I love to fish so it can't be better <laughs> I want to mention that Captain Danny Barrow is right over here and he's not catching any fish either he's one of our big fans Danny ba Captain Danny Barrow if you ever heard of him he loves Dar Sizzle yeah I'm saving a balloon Dar we're gonna uh, do some inshore trolling now shark we actually try to catch the an inshore balloon's going, away. The balloon's going away again let me put it away no I'll find it I'll take it all right, so you know it's been a little slow fishing around here with the weather and everything. So we figured we do inshore shark fishing, and which we have a bunch of videos if you want to check those out. Uh, but that didn't work even today. So now we're gonna change it up, and we're gonna do some uh, inshore trolling. So our sizzle's getting all ready, the little devil. And uh, so let's get to it. 
I spoke too soon. <laughs> Got a nice fish. I think. I think it might be a little shark. Took a little nice run. I just got all those lines rigged up and we're literally about to pull the anchor and the line just started screaming. Ooh. Head shaking. Look at the shark. Doing a circle around the boat. Here we go. It's either like a really big jack or a shark. Turn your head. Turn your head. Turn your head. No. Get him, Susan. Oh no, get that up. Okay, get that okay, up. okay. All right, he's here. Thanks, AFCO. Looks like that's a black tip. Pretty sure. Oh shoot, he's whatever. I'm going to lock up the drag a little bit more so he stops taking us in circles. It's a juvenile black tip and um, they can get worn out pretty easily so we don't want to kill them. Um, but we're going to bring them into the boat, try to get the hook out. It looks like the circle hook is in his mouth deep. So it looks like we may have to just cut the line and release him because um, you don't want to be sticking your hands in a shark's mouth. So Brian's going to leader him in. Mm -hmm. Uh, he was too bloody <laughs> for my boat, so I threw him off again. <laughs> yeah, and like as soon as he threw him off again, he was holding it just above the uh, leader where the swivel was connected to the um, mono leader that we had on, and it just broke, snapped right off. They just hit it with their tail, not to break off. Um, but you know that happens with fishing. Yeah, he was getting blown on my boat, so I threw, threw him. I threw him back over well, the side, and you can see the front of my camera is all messed up. That shark stunk so bad. Got one whiff of that shark when he came over. They just stink. I don't know, whoever smelt it dealt it. Yeah, cool thing about like sharks and all sharks in general, if you don't know this, but like when you get a shark out of the water, they don't like actually like pee, I guess. Like they, <laughs> so basically like the way that they exert their pee. They pee through their through skin. Their skin. They pee through their so skin. Because of that, they're like very stinky, but people love to eat them too. But as long as soon as you cut off the skin, you know, the meat is delicious. But um, even like a live or dead shark, they just stink. And when that fish came over the side real quick and Brian threw him off the other side, I just got a whiff of him. He did not smell good. <laughs> We got four lines out. Um, we've got oh, one so far. Well, Go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna be trolling four lines, and I've got all my uh, special favorite lip divers, Uzuri lip divers that I'm using. And we have now. I feel like a little bit more confident about this. I think we might catch a snook or something. Don't jinx it. Yeah, I don't want to jinx it, but <laughs> we did just catch that shark, and uh, I know snook and shark are different, but I have a feeling that we might get on a fight right now. So stay tuned. She just jinxed it. Knock on wood. It's Halloween. I did not. Um, I'm a devil, so somehow I did not jinx it. That, that makes that any sense. Make... It makes no sense. <laughs> All right. She needs to stick to fishing. A little Spanish mackerel. You can see he's like hooked in the head, but I'm going to get him off and release him. But these guys are good to eat too once they get a little bigger, obviously. Fish on. He just floated on that thing. What do I got? Oh, another mackerel. All right, this one's a little bigger. Seems to be a lot of mackerel inshore. Oh, he just broke off and broke my lure. <laughs> now I'm mad. That little one foot 
mackerel just stole my $15 lure. Ugh. All right. Well, now that I know there's toothy critters here, I think I'm going to um, you make sure I use very thick mono. And that lure was like this big. I don't know how he broke it, but he must have just like flipped and cut that line real quick. Darn! Now I'm mad. It's the worst when you lose lures. Comment below if you get really mad when you lose lures too because I don't know, I like my shiny lures and when I lose them, it makes me even more upset. So, whatever. I blame us not catching a snook on Brian. <laughs> he just had this lure like 30 feet behind the boat. What? We gotta let it out farther for those big fish. And this is the lure that crushes it. I've been showing this lure in a ton of videos. This lure is still going strong. I've caught dozens and dozens of snook on this thing and a monster 41 incher. We are back at the house and we just had a great day inshore saltwater fishing. We ended up catching a shark like we wanted to, that was our goal. And then we ended up doing some um, inshore trolling and we have a bunch of videos on that already. But we caught a few fish and had a blast doing that too. So Brian's gonna go ahead and just review some of the tackle that we used today for you guys. All right, first we did some uh, inshore uh, shark fishing, which we do sometimes, it's kind of fun. Usually we catch more sharks than that, but I just wanna go over that real quick. And we have a bunch of videos on this actually, if you hit the search yeah. function, even if you searched our sizzle, and shark fishing or inshore shark fishing or anything on Google, you can find some videos like that on what you're looking for. So don't, you know, you can do that sometimes. So anyway, the big thing I want to tell you guys is that we use mono for small sharks, inshore sharks. No wire. No wire, because sometimes the smaller sharks, uh, they don't like to bite the wire. They bite down on it, they get that metal taste and, and they release. So we use uh, mono a lot. And you gotta replace your leaders quite a bit, but whatever. Uh, so this is 250 pound mono. And then we use mustad circle hooks, of course. Today we were using 8 O's and 10 O's. Uh, really just depends on what size shark you know, you, you're targeting or you think you're gonna catch. And so that's, that's really that, we just got a, a simple- And what size crimp? Uh, whatever crimp that you can use for 250 mono. She's trying to confuse me. <laughs> uh, you know, it says it on the box. You know, I don't know whatever size it is. And that's a heavy duty swivel. Yeah, I got a heavy, well, obviously got a heavy duty swivel. Uh, 250 pound mono, I used between 250 and 400, really whatever I have lying around the house. I think this was from my outriggers. Uh, and then we just put this little, um, you know, mustad circle hook. This is probably three, or, this is about three or four foot. Not that long, again, the small sharks. And we, we use this Valiant a lot and uh, another big spinner. All right, then for the inshore trolling, you know, again, we have a video specifically on that. And just a couple days ago, I showed you what we were using for the lures. Uh, today I think we caught a little fish on this pink yuzuri and you guys should know by now that she loves these yuzuri lip divers And you know, this is a favorite lure of all time. I think she even talked about it. Yes. You can see it's got a 50th set of hooks Yeah, and blah blah blah. It's color, but it's still catching fish. And we caught some fish on it today. So that's the tackle And I think tomorrow we're doing some bass fishing. We just got a big package from Livingston Lures We're gonna open I think on the boat tomorrow and I'm gonna be throwing those the Shiner and Shag King over here, I think he's gonna try for a clown knife. What the heck, man? <laughs> I'm gonna be throwing That's those it for me. too. <laughs> yeah, we got a bunch of new lures, so we'll check those out tomorrow with you guys and open the box together and uh, go through the lures. But I'm really excited. They make some really great topwater lures, and I ended up using their lures a couple weeks back when I went fishing with Jan Alvarez in Miami, and we caught a bunch of peacock bass. Uh, so that should be cool. But I am going to be using artificials tomorrow. I just need some live bait because I'm really dying to catch a clown knife fish. And I know you guys have told me in the comments that you can catch them without live bait. That's the best go-to way to do it. So I'm going to do it that way. And until I catch a clown knife, I'm going to keep having shiners and live bait with me. Um, <laughs> and then once I catch one, it's going to fulfill my like desire to catch one. And then no we'll shame be, in that game. And then I'll be straight artificial. All right. But um, I'm going to be catching shad tomorrow. Stay tuned. We got a big exciting day of bass fishing. Hopefully we catch a ton of fish. Um, so we'll be back tomorrow. And until our next adventure, make sure you give us a big thumbs up too. <laughs> and until our next adventure follow your dream and keep on catching <laughs> this is what happens when you don't put on your trailer properly
I'm just doing a little farming back here. Show the trench. They can see the trench. Plant some corn.